Hey guys, Mr. Minus is here, and I'm going to be going over with you um, differentiating exponential functions. So, how do you um, how do you go about differentiating exponential functions, and what makes them special? Well, I'll tell you really what makes them special is the uh, e function e to the x. It's really nice because the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Woo! You don't really have to do anything. It's just e to the x. However, if you do have to use the chain rule. You do have to know that anything in the exponent is where you're going to apply the chain rule to. Okay, so I'll show you an example of that in this video too. Um, if you're doing an exponential function that's not e, like a to the x, then you're going to need to hook on an ln a to the uh, whole thing. So it's going to be the derivative of a to the x is going to be a to the x times ln of a. So ln of whatever the... Uh, the basis all right um and then again the power whatever's in the exponent that's what you're going to use for your chain rule so let's take a look at a couple examples here um let me show you this oops hold on one second while i zoom in here for you all right so let's take a look at a few of these here um y equals e to the e to the x squared minus 3x so no, again the power here is where our chain rule happens. So the derivative is going to be e to the, we're just going to copy down what we see. So e to the x squared minus 3x times the derivative of whatever's in the power. So 2x minus 3. Bam. Done. That's all there is to it. All right. So really, it's, you know, there's not a lot to do in these. You just got to make sure that you... Uh, you make sure you got the chain rule taken care of. Let's take a look at the next one, all right? So, g, wow, that's, that's, that's a thick pen there. <laughs> Let's put it down a bit here. g prime of t is going to be equal to e to the negative 3 over t times, uh, well, just on the side here, I'm going to change that to negative 3t to the negative 1. So I need to do the derivative of that to do the chain rule. So I'm going to have 3 over t squared. All right. Okay. So now let's do the last one here. All right. Let me change my plan to blue. Make sure it's not too thick. All right. So f prime of v is going to be 3 to the root v times ln of 3 times, we got to do the chain rule, so we need to do the derivative of v to the 1 half, which is 1 half v to the negative 1 half. That's all there is to it for doing derivatives of, um, of exponentials, okay? So let me show you one more example where we would use this, and this is, you know, just adding in some other stuff that we've already done in the past. Find the relative extreme of f of x equals negative x e to the negative two x squared so how do we do that how we find it relevant relative extrema well we need to take the derivative this is a product rule because we have negative x times e to the negative two x squared so the product rule says we're going to take the first times the derivative of the second okay now we need to do a chain rule plus the second times the derivative of the first negative one and we're going to set that guy equal to 0. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a negative e to the negative 2x squared from each of these. So that gives me 4x squared um, minus 1 equals 0. Um, it gives me a negative 4x squared plus 1. And that's going to give me negative 4x squared equals negative 1. x squared equals 1 fourth. So x equals plus or minus 1 half. All right. So then I'm going to check that guy. I'm going to check that guy on a table here. Negative 1 half, 1 half. And when I plug that into my f prime function, all right, f prime, I'm going to get this is going to be positive, negative, then positive. So it's going to increase, decrease, increase. All right. So then what am I going to do with that? Well, I'm going to plug in negative one half into my function here and one half into my function to find my uh, points. So my relative max is going to be at negative one half 
comma 1 half e to the negative 1 half once I plug that in and my relative min is going to be at 1 half negative 1 half e to the negative 1 half okay all right so that is doing some um, a few examples of doing the derivative of an exponential function okay I'll catch you next time guys with integration bye